Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today we are now reviewing another Dino Fury Megazord, this time Tiger Lance slash Tiger Claw Zord. Yeah. Oops, don't mean to hit the camera. But anyway, this one is very different from uh, this one, and I will do an unboxing for this one, because again, I've already unboxed this. If you haven't seen the first video, you should go see it. It's like a we're doing like a five to six part series. Tigerlands. All right, so this is the Tigerlands door, and it is pretty much set up the same way. The only difference is it is slightly bigger. Instructions, but again, the same as. But again, it is about the same for. Pressed, so I'm at the post. <laughs> but ta da! We now have Tiger Lens and the Tiger Clawzord. I don't know why they call it. I don't know why they call the American one a Clawzord because that it's it's literally a lens. He's he's holding a lens. So let's move on to the rest of the Zord. Starting off with the Green Ranger. As you can see, um, not much color in the front, and but again, the visor is color in for the top. And of course, this one has the saber tooth gimmick than the original. However, we do have this little guy, which is our Tiger Lands Green Ranger. That just goes. Back of that with the posable head. Now there's a difference between this one and this one, and I will actually show that off now. So let's remove this guy and switch over to it. Alright, as you can see, I brought in the pink ranger with the special uh the special things. So it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is remove the this part. Focus. Focus. Final backup. Both of these and the lance. Come on. <clears throat> that was tough. Split pink part. And make sure these are apart. All right, now for the fun part, we're gonna actually gonna remove the head. Bring this down like this. And apparently, they want you to do this same thing with the hands, but whatever. You're gonna attach the head upside down to the needle. Or the hammer like this, followed by attaching it to the head like that. You also want to make sure that the like going into the middle of it, as you can see, there's like little roundabouts and a circle there, and you're gonna attach it to the bottom. So now he has like little standy feet. And then you're pretty much gonna attach these to the shoulder. Just like that. And then these are gonna go right above here. You're gonna use the top two pegs. Just like that. You're gonna turn the hands. So. You're gonna take the holding part and attach it to this little square peg right here. Let me move my thumb out of the way. Like they have it very differently. They have it like 
spike up, spike up, and then this is supposed to be down, I think it said. Like that. And I don't know where they put that tail. But if anything, I would probably put the tail like back here, but you can't because these pegs are not real. <laughs> so this is just an extra part. If you want, you can probably put it right here. It'd look kind of weird, but whatever. Or you can place it like, whoops. Place it like right here. That seems kind of convenient. Now it looks like it has a little tail. Ta-da! And as you can see, these two parts are like fists as well. So they can combine with the Megazord. But again, that's very different. And I don't know how I would do, I would do that. But it's really cool that they have like two different... Like that one has like two different modes. Um, even if like that the feet are forced the ability, but if the feet weren't there, it'd actually be pretty cool. Um, I can pretty much do the same thing with this one. Ta -da! And the only thing I can't do with um, this one is attach these on there, like to the hands, like this. I can can't really attach. It. Wait, I can. However, his stability is a little bit more cumbersome because he doesn't have extra height. But he is also he also has pegs on the belly and not for this guy. So let's combine it to the main sword and we'll go from there. So here are some extra fun formations that I forgot to show you. Guys, so there's that. Okay, I did want to show off one of the Japanese exclusive which is this part. Which is this up here, because it can't attach here. As I explained earlier, it doesn't stay. Like at all. Like these are just cosmetic y. Same thing with these, so there's only plagues otherwhere. And of course, the lance doesn't stay on as well as the original. So for getting it to Megazord mode, make sure every piece is detached. So head, little plates, and of course, the body. And of course, this has no significant purpose. So other than having a handle there, this one, it's pretty simple. It's about the same. Of course. All right, now we're gonna put this in claw formation or uh, Kishiryu o Tiger Lands. So this one's pretty simple. Um, make sure three knights is available. And then when you do that, you're gonna remove the following pieces. Head. Arms. course this part. Once you've done that, attach the feet like so, so they bring out cannons. The leg joints are gonna go on the side where the little armor pieces will go on the side. So this one's going to be slightly different and I will show you what it's going to be, but one leg joint will be the same. Same thing with the knees.
Then you're gonna take the tail, split it open so it shows this, put it up front. Now you're going to attach your head to your tail, like so, place it there, head and tail like so, place it right there, and then of course for the Zord itself, For the American version, since it can't really attach. Oh, well, maybe it can, because there's like a little peg here. Never mind. And now I just grab your heads and. Ta da! Tiger Lens! Tiger Claw Formation or. Well, claw formation or Kishiri, Kishiryu, or uh, Tiger Lands formation. So, as you can see, it's very different to each other. Again, they are pretty much the same when it comes to having a weapon. Um, as you can see, the knee parts are right there. Um, these front parts are used, but not in the way you expect. I'll just take one of the lances and just put it upside down. It fits really perfectly right there. Glad I got that on camera, because I totally would have missed that. Um, but there it is. This is Tiger Lance Formation. Uh... And yeah, this is uh, Ryu Soul slash Dino Fury's Tiger Lance, Tiger Lance or Tiger Claw Zord. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you all next time when we do Mill Needle, and then after that we will do Five Nights. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs>